Hello and welcome to the second part of the presentation of the OPC UA companion specification for weighing. Thank you very much to Dr. Dominic Rormus for introducing the LNI and the testbed we have at the University of Ravensburg for showing the functionality of OPC UA servers for weighing. My name is Eugen Schiebli. I'm working for Metla Toledo as a market manager for the Industrial Internet of Things. I'm also the chairman of the joint working group for developing the companion specification for weighing. The companion specification for weighing was released in June 2020. Here you can see the member companies of the joint working group which provided the weighing know-how for this specification. On the left hand side of this slide you can read the names of the 12 weighing companies in alphabetical order. These 12 leading weighing companies provided the weighing know-how for the specification. On the right hand side of this slide I listed the FISW Steuerungstechnik. This is an institute at the University of Stuttgart. The FISW moderated the joint working group consisting of these 12 weighing companies. The FISW also provided the OPC UA know-how. Another member of the joint working group is the PTB, the Physikalisch Technische Bundesanstalt in Braunschweig in Germany. This is the German approval organization. On this slide, you can see a large variety of scales, balances or weighing devices. You can see very common bench scales, tank scales, you see laboratory balances, high resolution weigh modules. You can also see conveyor scales, check weighers, graphimetric filling machines, loss in weight scales and last vehicle scales. You certainly agree this is a quite heterogeneous collection of scales, balances or weighing devices. These different applications, designs and sizes were a challenge for the joint working group. Therefore, we had to structure the companion specification to avoid complexity that would have confused the user. As mentioned before, the joint work group subdivided the specification into different applications or use cases. We defined automatic filling scales, catch weighing scales, but this group was subdivided again into check weighers plus weight price labeling scales. Then we have continuous scales including loss in weight scales, we have designed piece counting scales, we have designed recipe weighing, in addition the most important, this is the simple weighing scales which is subdivided into hopper and laboratory balances. Then totalization and finally the vehicle scales. I point out again the most important substructure are the simple scales. This, this node set can be used for the majority of all applications. On the left hand side of this slide you see the minimum node set of a simple weighing scale. It is the view from a client to a server. In this node set you don't see method calls for set zero, set tear and other instructions to the scale. However, methods are defined in the specification for simple weighing, but here on this slide methods are not shown because method calls are not mandatory for simple weighing. And I repeat, on this picture you just see the minimum node set of a simple weighing scale. I want to point out that implementing methods is highly recommended to any scale manufacturer offering an OPC UA server for weighing. On the next couple of slides I will show you some particularities of the companion specification for weighing. But don't worry, I don't make a long basic training about OPC UA. I just want to provide information about some node functionalities that are hardly common in other specifications. The first of these particularities is the current weight node. This node 
includes the three most important information that you can get from a scale. It includes the gross, net and tear weight. The particularity is that the server provides these three values with a concurrent timestamp. You have no rounding errors or errors resulting from weight capturing at different times. The three values have one timestamp and the sum of the net weight and the tear weight is always the gross weight. Another particularity is the registered weight node. One has to keep in mind that typically weight values are floating values that change permanently. This can be a challenge for data processing using the weight because a continuously changing value cannot always be used for calculations or process control. The solution is the registered weight node. It allows the operator to catch or register or store the weight in the registered weight node at the right moment. Regardless of what the actual weight value does, the registered weight node keeps the registered value available for the client at any time. There is no reset function for the registered weight. It is overwritten when the operator triggers it again. The engineering unit or EU information node provides the weight unit information. In OPC UA, measuring units are not presented in a string format. They are provided as EU information or engineering unit, which is based on a standard published by the United Nations. Here at the bottom, you can see how weight values are displayed either with three characters or in a code. This topic is not the particularity posed by the companion specification for weighing. The topic addresses a potential problem in weighing over which users often struggle. First, for those who are not familiar with methods, a method is a sub-process initiated by a client. The method is then executed by the scale which hosts the server. Now the problem can be that the server does not provide the expected information such as the net weight within the expected time. This can be due to unstable environment such as vibrations and draft or sloshing or vaporizing liquids that delays detection of stable criteria for stable weight. So this is not an OPC UA or a server problem, it is a problem of the environment in which the scale operates. The companion specification for weighing is one out of many different companion specifications within OPC UA. Therefore, it is not surprising that there are communalities and dependencies. For the companion specification for weighing, we have a dependence for the state machine. Actually, it has the same state machine as the companion specification PACML, which is designed for packaging equipment. This is because it is common that scales are part of packaging lines. To make it easier for the system integrator, we decided to adopt the state machine of the PACML. The second dependency is the communality with the companion specification for machinery. The situation is that both companion specifications have some nodes that provide the same information. These are for example serial number, software version, manufacturer and several more. However, users will not have a problem because the nodes have the same semantics in both specifications. I am at the end of my presentation to briefly introduce you to the companion specification for weighing. The specification is released since June 2020. It is the result of a respectful cooperation between 12 companies 
a university institute and an approval organization. These companies believe in standardization to facilitate integration of weighing technology into manufacturing execution systems, enterprise resource planning and cloud services. The demonstrator machine on this picture